In this video, I'm going to show you my program Maze, and this program is designed to read a maze from a text file and give back another text file to the user with the maze already sold. So this is going to be the input text, and this is going to be the output text. The text file will be a series of asterisks and zeros on a two-dimensional array, where zeros are the paths and the asterisks are the walls. So this is going to be a maze. The asterisks represent a wall, and the zeros represent a path. If there is a solution to the maze given in the first text file, the program will output there is a way out. Otherwise, it will output there is no way out. And this program is used in stacks to store the locations where the user can move in more than one direction. Once the program chooses a path and there is not an exit, it pops the location from the stack and repeats the process. In order for the program to know where it's been, um, we have to leave a mark on the positions where paths. In this case, I'll use a period just to keep track. And then this program will also test for memory leaks. So now let's look a little bit into the logic of the program. So we're going to pass everything to the function soul. And this function will receive a two-dimensional array, which hold the maze. And in order for it to work, we need to pass the function allocation coordinate for it to start at the beginning of the maze. So if you go to the maze file, the first line we see is the size of the maze. In this case, the size of the maze is a two-dimensional array, or one by one, which is one column and one row. And then there's the maze, and then this is the location of the exit in the maze. This is the location of the entrance in the maze, sorry. So it's zero, zero, so the program will start here, and because it's in the exit, the program will tell you that there is a way out. So in maze number two, starting here, it's a two-dimensional array of two rows and two columns. Then the third argument is going to be where is the exit, where is the entrance located? In this case, is in the first row, which is this one, and then the second column, which is this one. So the program will start here. On the th on here, this is a 10 by 10 uh, maze. And if you go to the end of the maze here, it say, where is the entrance? It's in the first row on the third column, 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, if you want to go that way. So, the basic logic of the program, it will start, the computer will move north, then it will move south, then it will move west, and then east. And once the computer is in a location, it will evaluate the four directions that surround it. If there are four available moves, the computer will drop a breadcrumb, in this case a period, push the location to the stack, and then move to any direction available following the previously stated order. Then if the computer then, then the computer will start the process all again and if one of the locations that surround the location is an e we change the value of our bool variable which holds true if there's an exit and false otherwise so let's see the program in action this is the input file we run the program Let's wait. Okay, the program is still running. And then we go to May Solutions and let's see. So for maze number one, we found an exit. There's a way out because the exit and the entrance is the same. For maze number two, we started here. We left a breadcrumb and it found the exit. There's a way out. Maze number three, we started here. The program went down, and here, 
uh, return, came down here, and it found an exit, so there's a way out. And for maze number four, there's no way out, and you can see the, that the program started right here, and it meant, and it went up, up, and it stopped here, and, and it found that there's no way out. And that's basically how the program works.